Hi, this is Scott, and today I got kind of a sad day, but I figured I'd share, you know, what I find out. Um, I have to send my beautiful X-T3 uh, to Fujifilm Service. And the problem that I figure I'll tell you guys about, just in case someone else experiences it, or maybe experiencing it but not quite figured out what's going on yet. Um, on occasions I would take my camera out and I would be like, wow, I, I, I thought I put a fresh battery in there yesterday and it would be like, you know, with three quarters or a half. But, you know, I didn't think too much of it. I just figured I'm getting old and I must have forgot. Uh, <laughs> but it turns out that wasn't the case. It turns out there's a problem. Uh, with my little camera, uh, only two months old. I think it was with it from the very beginning, uh, but it must have some kind of a grounding problem because if I put in a fresh battery, uh, it will be drained within about 48 hours. And the only reason I really figured it out is because I had been using my camera constantly, so that's why I just got that, hmm, I thought I had more power in there. Uh, but I didn't use it for three days and I actually had it uh, um, plugged in with a um, battery backup as well with a, one of the um, one of these guys, one of the uh, approved anchor uh, power. And when I went back to my camera, it was like three or four days later, it was totally dead. And I was like, oh my God, how could that possibly be? How could it have drained a brand new battery they had put in it? And I had it plugged in so it should have been powering it. Um, but no, the, the drain basically sucked my battery and the anchor uh, power supply dry. So I knew there was something up. So I did some tests, tried three different batteries, uh, and essentially uh, looked at it. Uh, also, in my Fuji X-T20, which I'm using right now to film, I would put it in battery, put them right next to each other, uh, wait two days, go back, the X-T3 would be, would be dry, totally dead battery, or it would show a red symbol on the death store or whatever. And the Fuji X-T20 was perfectly fine. Uh, looked like I hadn't lost any power. So, I guess you'd call this a reboxing video as I have to uh, pack up my camera, uh, spend $25 of my hard-earned money to uh, ship and uh, insure it, send it up to Fujifilm. Hopefully they will fix it quickly and get it back to me uh, in a week or so because, you know, this December, this is the Christmas season. This is when we, uh, personal reasons, want to have our cameras. Luckily, I still have the X-T20, and I, I do love it. Um, sometimes I wish the my little X-T20 body would do everything that this does, except drain batteries. So I'll keep you posted. I'll tell you when it comes back and tell you if they fixed it. But if you're experiencing any doubts about your battery drainage, um, try to take your, your camera in a couple days when you're not going to use it, put a new battery in it, and then uh, essentially, you know, if you check it two, three days later, that battery should still be full if you turn your camera on and your camera is off. And my camera was off and it was still getting drained. So keep you posted. Talk to you next time. Bye.